In the heart of Africa, in a small village nestled between towering bobeb trees, there lived a man named Quaim. Quaim was known throughout the village for his strength and cunning, but he harbored a dark secret that few dared to whisper about. Quaim was married to a beautiful woman named Odana, and they had a young son named Kofi. Despite outward appearances of a happy family, there was tension between Quaim and Adana. Quaim was a jealous man, consumed by suspicion and possessiveness. One moonlit night, as the village slept peacefully under the blanket of stars, Quaim's jealousy erupted into a violent rage. He accused Adana of infidelity, fueled by baseless rumors whispered in his ear by jealous neighbors. In a fit of blind fury, he struck her with his mighty fists, unaware of the innocent child sleeping soundly beside her. Adana cried out in pain and fear, but her pleas fell on deaf ears. In his blind rage, Quain struck her again and again, until she lay motionless on the floor, her lifeblood staining the earth beneath her. Only then did he realize the terrible truth he had killed his own son, Kofi, in his mad frenzy. Horror and remorse flooded through Quaim as he beheld the lifeless bodies of his wife and child. He fell to his knees, tears mingling with the blood that stained his hands. The weight of his actions crushed him, and he knew that he could never undo the unspeakable horror he had unleashed upon his own family. As dawn broke over the village, Word spread like wildfire of the tragedy that had befallen Quaim's household. The villagers gathered around the scene, their faces twisted in shock and disbelief. Adana and Kofi had been beloved members of the community, and their untimely deaths sent ripples of sorrow throughout the village. But amidst the grief and sorrow, there was also anger and outrage. Quaim's actions had shattered the peace of the village and defiled the sanctity of family. He was cast out from the community, condemned to wander the wilderness alone with his guilt and shame as his only companions. For years, Quaim roamed the vast expanse of the African wilderness, haunted by the memories of his past. He sought solace in the embrace of nature, hoping to find redemption in the beauty of the land. But no matter how far he traveled or how hard he tried to escape, he could never out from the shadow of his sins. In the end, Quaim's story became a cautionary tale whispered around campfires and shared in hushed tones across the savannah. It served as a reminder of the destructive power of jealousy and the tragic consequences of letting it consume the soul. And though his name faded into obscurity, his story lived on as a warning to all who dared to follow in his footsteps.